Hanjuan 3D has a new version and we are going to install it locally and we are going to test it out. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Hanjuan 3D 2.1 is an advanced 3D AI generated content system designed to create high resolution textured 3D assets from a single image input. I have been covering all of the variants and flavors and versions of this Hanjuan 3D from quite some time now and you can see that on the channel and they have always impressed a lot of people for a lot of use cases and many people have shared a lot of tools which they have developed on top of them so that is why i'm quite excited to share this new version with you before i get um, to install it and show you how to install it and then play around with it let's talk a bit more about this model this model represents a significant advancement in 3D generative modeling, addressing the gap between the rapid progress in 2D image video generation and the more fragmented development in 3D content creation. Unlike existing fragmented approaches, Hanjuan 3D 2.1 provides a comprehensive modular framework that separates shape and texture generation into distinct stages that allows users to generate untextured meshes independently or apply textures to custom assets for enhanced flexibility. I'm also going to talk a bit more about its architecture, but for now, let's get rolling and uh, get it installed. I'm going to use this Ubuntu system and my GPU card is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let me start by creating a virtual environment. And if you're also looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, you can find the link to mass compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. And now let me git clone the repo of this Hanjuan 3D 2.1 and I'm also going to drop the link to it in video's description. Once that's done, we need to install all the prerequisites from the root of the repo and that is going to take a bit of a time. As that happens, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation, task automation and world simulation. Okay, so everything is installed. Now let, let me launch my Gradio demo on my local system. And the first time when you run it, it also downloads the model. So let's wait. So while it downloads the model, let's talk a bit more about its architecture because I think it's quite interesting if you have a look at it. So the architecture consists of two core components, as you can see on your screen, working in tandem. Hanjuan 3D Diffusion Transformer for sh shape generation and Hanjian 3D paint for texture synthesis. The shape generation pipeline combines a flow-based diffusion architecture with a high fidelity mesh auto encoder that uses mesh surface important sampling and variational token length to capture intricate geometric details. The texture synthesis component uses a mesh conditional multi-view diffusion model that generates physically based rendering material including albedo, metallic and roughness maps, incorporating spatial aligned multi-attention modules and 3D aware rope for cross-view consistency. The system finds applications across gaming, film production, virtual reality, and industrial design of that offers you know user a really robust foundation for diverse 3D generation tasks while maintaining superiority in geometric detail preservation and texture photo consistency compared to existing commercial and open source alternative. And I'm very very keen to see how exactly it performs as compared to its previous versions which we already have covered on the channel as i mentioned earlier and the model is almost downloaded i think it is uh, almost done they are loading the pipeline and stuff and you see that not only it downloads the actual model but it also needs to download this high 3d gen dot shape gen model and which is around uh, 7.37 gig
okay so now you can see that it is now running on our local host at port 7860 and i'm not sure what exactly is meant by this using moe or mixture of expert i couldn't find much information in the paper but anyway let's try to run it and see what happens there you go so it is running on our local host model is ready and loaded let me just make it a bit smaller so that we could see uh, it in our window okay so this is what it looks like let me first try out one of their example and then we will go from with our example so i'm just going to maybe go with this image and first i'm going to generate the shape it is running let's check it out let me check the vram consumption so it is consuming close to i would say 15.5 gig of vram not bad i think they have improved the vram consumption as compared to the previous models i'm just going to close it let's wait so it is not only generating the mesh you can export the mesh here and there are few of the statistics around mesh this is something new which is always helpful if you are customizing it so there you go wow okay so i'm just moving it with my mouse you know what i think this is much much improved than their previous version there is huge improvement i can see there is a lot of intricate detail as i was mentioning earlier this is really cool stuff okay let's try out this face one so i have just selected it i'm just going to say this time generate the textured shape so let's wait it is working and i'm just going to let it run for a bit just to show you how long does it take it also showing us here in seconds so let's check it out the previous one used to take around 30 seconds but let's see how long does this take and they have improved a lot they have come a long long way so 30 seconds is done it is still generating the textured shape And there you go you can see this 3d textured image looks really good and as i mentioned earlier i think they have improved this intricate detail a lot maybe it is taking a bit more time but i think this one is quite good and my system is a bit stuck so let's wait for it to come back there you go really really good stuff okay let's see if i have any image from my local system i'm just going to select it so let me select this one i actually generated it with another model sometime back so i'm just generating the shape to see how exactly it performs the shape on our own local images but i can already see that from the example images it was really really cool and there are various examples which come handy with it so let's wait and textured shape takes a bit more time which is fine but this one is quite quick there you go yep you see it's riding the horse and it has correctly identified it well done this is pretty cool there you go so i don't see any malformation the quality looks pretty good to me really really good stuff okay so i'm just going to go with maybe um, this object let's generate the shape again and it has generated the flower i'm just going to turn it down and if i closely compare it you can see all the shapes all the textured even this little petal is there which is quite cool and it has even tried to capture the inner of it so let me check it out what if we flip it yep looks quite cool it's all very very well formatted and that is a key of using these things in as 3d assets in uh, a lot of use cases as i mentioned earlier so pretty cool okay let me try one last one i'm just going to go with this image just going to generate the shape and as i said you can export the mesh and then use it um, once it is done there you go you can download it you can transform it you can change few of the file types like glp and these are the standard types for the meshes and stuff there you go awesome you see how good is that this is really fantastic i would say really really good 
okay so that's it very impressed by this i think this one is has got real improvement in it um, if you also enjoyed it please like the video and share it and if you haven't already subscribed please do so as it helps a lot thank you for watching